Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm starting a series in response to a couple of the questions that I get, uh, specifically around swimwear photography and how do I go about preparing. I think there's a lot of knowledge in terms of how to use a camera. There's a lot of knowledge on YouTube in terms of how to pose, but there's not a lot of information in terms of how to prepare. Some of the things that you should be doing in order to elevate your work and come out with very predictable results, which is really what I'm into. So if that's the kind of content you like, then I encourage you to hit that like button and definitely subscribe to the channel as I'm gonna be putting out a series of videos around this process. So we'll start here. Let me give you a little preface of where we're at. We're in beautiful Key Biscayne. Uh, we're actually on location. I'm waiting for the model. So this is exactly what you're, what you're seeing here is exactly what I would use in all my shoots. Um, and so I'm gonna take you through this layout so you get a better understanding. The second part of the series, make sure you stay locked. I'm gonna dive into the gear portion, but this is very important guys for you to come out with predictable results. And more importantly, it's for you to put out work out there that is, um, powerful that actually gets you booked. So if that's what you're into, again, hit that like button. So I'm gonna make my way through this table starting from the left to the right. And then, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions, let me know. So for starters, I, uh, I come on set and then I find a table that I can lay my stuff. I think it's important for you to do that. Now, the unfortunate thing about putting down stuff on tables, as you can see, this is a picnic table is that this thing has little grooves, you know, it's made out of wood. So what I do is I always put a towel down. This is important because if you put anything like a ring or jewelry, any kind of jewelry or anything small, you know, it, it's probably, it's less likely to fall through and then fall in the sand where nobody would notice it. Here, you can actually lay down your stuff uh, and then, you know, don't be afraid that you're not gonna find it later. So let's, let's start with the bottom, a very plain towel that you can bring. Usually I like to bring either some sort of neutral color or a, a white one. White is always preferred specifically because when you're done with it, you can just throw it in the wash, put a little bleach and it's perfect. Uh, but uh, one of the things I always, always carry uh, to all my shoots is this sun bounce. And what this guy is, is a changing tube. And I'm gonna go ahead and link all of this stuff down below. Uh, what this guy allows you to do is you open it up and your model can get in there and you just kind of hold it up and then she can get in there and she can get dressed. The advantage of this is of course that she doesn't have to go all the way out there. In some of these locations, there's no bathrooms. Um, she doesn't have to be holding a towel and kind of trying to change herself. Um, this is actually a very private tube that you, all you're doing is holding it for her and then she can go ahead and change and comfortably uh, go on about her business. So this is essential for any shoot where you're on location and you just want to make sure that you know they don't have to go too far to change. This actually can take place right here. We can change, she's out, and then we can start shooting. So I'm gonna link this down below. I forgot what this is called, but this is by Sunbound, sunbounce.com. I'll link them down below so you can get yourself. This is probably one of the most expensive products. I think it runs for about $100, but it, it just becomes an essential part of your swimwear shoe kit. The second one that I highly recommend, often overlooked, is a speaker. And one of the things you'll start to note about some of the products that I use for shooting is that they're very bright color. This is actually a JBL speaker. Obviously it's gonna be waterproof, but it's orange. And the reason why it's orange is because I can take this, throw it in the sand. Uh, and if it, you know, if, um, if we're shooting, I always can see it. If we uh, lose sight of it, or, or if later on, you know, uh, you're done with your shoot, um, you know exactly where it is. It's bright, you can see it from anywhere, right? So this is almost essential. One tidbit of, uh, uh, one little tip that I would recommend is get yourself one of these little clips and then you can actually clip this on your pants or uh, on anything, on a, on a branch or on your backpack if you're carrying your backpack. Uh, this is essential for me because music is very important as part of any shoot. So grab yourself one of these, highly recommend it. I'll link it down below. Moving on, another essential part of any shoot for me and the models is hydration. Guys, I can't stress this enough. 
we're gonna be out here for two to three hours. So it's important that you bring some water uh, or anything you need to stay hydrated. I always bring my own bottle of water, but I also carry a small Yeti cooler with small bottles of water for the models. It is essential, it's crucial that you stay hydrated, that you drink plenty of water and uh, you're comfortable. Again, this is all fun, but it can turn really quick if you're dehydrated or you're just starting to get lightheaded because you're not drinking enough water. So um, if you can, I recommend Yeti bottle. These bottles are reusable. You can throw them in the dishwasher if you want uh, and they last forever. You, you know, I, I can put water in here with ice and it'll be cold for a few days. So I recommend these guys, couldn't stress enough. Uh, the other cool thing is just like I did with this clip here, you can actually get a bigger one, put it here and then just kind of put this anywhere. Uh, and clip it. So it's kind of out of the way, but again, it's essential. So I recommend it. This is a Yeti water bottle. Um, another essential tool for me is ensuring that I'm protected and that my crew is protected. And one way we do that is by wearing these shirts that are SPF 50. And basically they're breathable. It's a breather, breathable material. You can get it wet. Uh, you know, once you're done, you can throw it in the wash, but they do come with hoods. So when you're out in the sun, you can actually put on this hood and it covers your neck. You can see me, I'm wearing a hat, I'm wearing sunglasses, um, but also you can, you can lower the, the sleeves if you need to. These are fully down to your waist. I'm wearing shorts. Um, so I'm just in the element, but I'm also protected. So I encourage you guys to pick some of these up for your next shoot. Uh, mine are all red and that's more of a brand recognition thing. If anyone's out here and they see a photographer and, the, and I'm wearing a red shirt, it's probably Marco. It's one of those things that I started implementing. It's worked, um, so I encourage you to try it. Um, but make sure you get some of these. I'm gonna put them down below. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, the other one is making sure that your skin is protected. And for me, is having sunscreen. So I carry two, uh, two little bottles of sunscreen, once for the body and once for the face. I make this I, available to everyone that's here. My, the model, the crew, anyone who's here. If I'm working with a model, an assistant, I make sure that I remind them to keep applying sunscreen. Guys, I can't stress this enough. One hour out here without protection can make or break your next day or your night. You're just gonna be sunburned. It's not gonna be cool. Another thing for models is that if you're out here, and this is a pro tip for models and photographers, if you're out here and you get sunburned, um, that model, if she gets called for a job tomorrow, she might end up getting canceled because she was sunburned, because she was shooting with you. So make sure that you're not ruining that for the model because it's probably gonna be the last time you work with her. Um, but also, you know, just bear in mind that this is what we do for a living. So you gotta make sure you take care of yourself, but also make sure you take care of others. So this is easy, guys carry this everywhere you go, especially if you're in swimwear photography. I have a ton of these in my car. I just carry them everywhere we go. Um, I see this time and time again is models and photographers putting oil, you know, they, I see that, that spray bottle, it's like a green can. I've seen people using that. Listen, that stuff looks fantastic, but in my opinion, um, it can get really, really messy, really fast. Um, the worst thing that I've seen is people using olive oil, olive oil or um, baby oil. You know, you're putting oil on your skin when you go out into the sun, that's just gonna amplify the sun rays hitting your skin. You're literally cooking your skin. It's not gonna be a good look at the end of the day. I encourage you to stay away from it. But if you have to put a little bit of oil, use sunscreen, you get a SPF 30, apply it. All you're looking for, remember, is that little bit of shine on the skin to make it look like it's glimmering. If you need to add a little bit more glimmer, I use this body bronzing uh, um, product that looks phenomenal. It puts a little bit of shine on the hair, oh uh, sorry, on the skin, and then you can apply sunscreen on top of it. So this is a phenomenal. It gives that body that nice little glow. Uh, you just gotta make sure you apply it evenly, but I'll link it down below if you're interested in grabbing one. If absolutely at the end of the day, for example, you're shooting sunsets that last 30 minutes of the day and you're losing light and you have no other option and you have to go for the oil, I highly recommend you get some, yourself some argan oil. This is actually pretty good for your hair and your skin. Um, 
and it's natural. So I recommend you try this out. It also doesn't get messy for some reason. Um, you can apply it and then quickly dry your hands and go on with your shoot. So argan oil is the oil that I would recommend for the skin. And again, I'm gonna link this down below. Moving on, let's get to the fun part because you're probably wondering what all this stuff is here. We'll start with, uh, I'll start with telling you that, guys, if I'm testing or if I'm doing a model development shoot, I style all my shoots. If you're portfolio building, if you're a photographer and you're portfolio building, I encourage you to style your shoots. Don't depend on other people for your success. Take control of your deliverables, take control of uh, your outcomes. One way I do that is by making sure I style all my shoots. Now, do you have to go out and spend the most expensive, uh, uh, on the most expensive bikinis and swimsuits for your test shoots? Absolutely not. It is my opinion that you don't need to go buy these $100, $200 swimsuits just for a photo shoot. Um, trust me, you're gonna put them up, you're gonna tag the brand and they might reshare it, but it's very unlikely that you're gonna get a call. There's a whole nother process you should follow and I'll talk about that as part of this series to make sure you're getting hired. Um, so it is my opinion that you don't have to go and purchase the most expensive bikinis for your shoots. I'm gonna show you a couple of suits that are expensive uh, and those are because, you know, those are clients of mine um, or, or brands that have actually just sent me product. But I'm going to show you some suits that I've created images with and I'll show them here um, with Amazon suits. Guys, these are $20, $30 suits that are getting the job done. If it's for a picture, no one can tell the brand. What they look at is the body, the positioning, and the last thing they'll probably look at is that suit. So all of these suits right here are Amazon. These are $30 suits. This is actually a one piece suit that I'll, I'll show you a photo. I actually just recently did a shoot for that. This is a one piece suit and you know, it's a small, it works on almost every body and it looks phenomenal. I encourage you to pick up, uh, you know, two or three of these if you can. I actually own three. I got a black, a white, and a red. Um, you can put this on just about any model. She's gonna look phenomenal. She's gonna feel great because this is a very fitted look and there's not a lot of lady parts showing. This is actually a great option. You should have at least one bodysuit in all your kits. Encourage this. Again, this is Amazon. I'll put them down below. If you have any questions, just pick them up. Um, it's not gonna hurt. Again, you're controlling your outcomes by doing this. Another great brand of products that they send me uh, all the time is Andy Bagus. They make some really cool swimmer bikinis. I carry them all in these little Ziploc bags and my process is really simple. They come up in uh, Ziploc bags and once they get used or once the model tries it on, they stay off the Ziploc. And that tells me when I get home to make sure that that goes in the wash. Uh, I wash all the suits. Some of them have to be hand washed. Uh, but this is how, you know, you got to protect yourself and protect your, your investments, right? So this is, uh, these are Andy Bagus and what I do is I, you know, this has been uh, on a Ziploc. I took these out before I started recording, but um, basically uh, if the model tries it on, um, then it's just going to be one of those suits that you just got to wash, okay? So the, this is Andy Bagus and then another one that I have are from this brand here and these are beautiful suits that, you know, they're going to look phenomenal. So I encourage you guys to bring your suits, guys. Like, they don't cost that much and, uh, you know, you're going to be able to uh, walk out with some really, really cool images with unique looks without breaking the bank. I, I mentioned earlier, you know, I get a lot of suits from Amazon and that's okay. I don't have any problems telling anyone that I buy suits from Amazon. Um, the other thing that I uh, like to do and that I, I just don't like in pictures, uh, to see this in pictures, I don't like to see uh, bare necks in some instances, but more importantly, I don't like to see bare ears. So for me, it's important that I have jewelry because I, again, as, as I mentioned with the suits, I don't wanna rely on the model to bring anything. I just need the model to show up and make sure she has her best attitude and she's feeling great and I'll go ahead and style the rest. Um, the rest is really, I leave it up to myself. So 
one of the things I like to do is I like to buy earrings and this is all from Amazon. This is not gold, of course, um, but you get you can get packs like this on Amazon for like $20, very inexpensive. I buy them in silver, I buy them in gold color. Uh, now, one thing that you need to do is similar to the suit. If the model tries on uh, an earring, actually goes through her ear, make sure that you separate it and then you clean it with alcohol when you're back home. So uh, make sure that if a model tries it on, that you actually uh, you know, separate it and put it out uh, for, for alcohol cleaning later. And again, you see, these are little packs that showed up uh, that I bought on Amazon. And that way, you know, if the model comes up with, with, you know, shows up on set with nothing, no earrings, no jewelry, nothing, I got it, you know? And this is, again, how I can control my outcomes. Pretty, pretty easy, 20 bucks, you won't regret it. And again, make sure you clean them up. Uh, kind of digging through here, you start to see that I carry a lot of other uh, Ziploc bags with, with bikinis and things like that. There's more jewelry. Um, and then another essential thing that I do, a lot of the work that I do is a little bit more on the edgy side. So maybe the model is going to be kind of, you know, grabbing and covering. She might be doing like an implied look. Buy these pasties. I encourage you to buy uh, um, covers for the girls and making sure that the girls are not out exposed, right? So I encourage you to buy these pasties. You can get them in nude color. You can get them in black. Uh, you know, it depends on the look that you're going for, but you can get them small, large, you can get them as an X. However, um, I just keep it simple. Uh, sometimes I'll, I have both, I get black and nude, and then you can actually come out here, just cut them up and give it to the model. She can apply it. And then, you know, if, if you're shooting and you know, she moves her hand and something comes out, you know, she doesn't have to worry that, you know, her parts are out there, right? You're, you're making sure that you're being uh, a professional in that your model is being protected. This is often overlooked, um, but you'd be surprised how comfortable people will get when you're making sure that they look their best, but also are protected. So I encourage you to do this. I'll put these down link below. Guys, uh, for a swimmer shoot, this is pretty much it. I like to keep it simple. Oh, I carry everything in a tote bag. I'll link this bag down below. I think I paid maybe like $15, $20 for this bag. Um, the cool thing about it is that, you know, when you put things, they're probably gonna track some sand. You can just kind of shake this off and everything comes off and that way you're not tracking all this stuff in your car. Um, but for my swimmer shoes, that's pretty much it. I bring towels, I bring water, I bring speakers for music, I bring my styling, I bring jewelry, I bring protection, I'm protected. And then the last thing is, just have fun making sure that your model looks great making sure you uh, are you know just giving them a really good experience out here on the beach and just come out here and make epic shots that's all i got for today i hope you enjoy the first the next one we're going to talk about uh, the gear i use for my swimmer shots so stay tuned for that one and until the next week peace